Borderlands tier list. Has it been done? Yes. Has it been done like this? Probably, but we're going to do it. So guess what? Borderlands 1. Hey, you see my gun? F tier. You what? Psych B. I put it in B solely because it's dated. It doesn't feel like like people should actually be playing it in 2024. But I will give it one thing. That freaking mastery system, bro. Bring that back. I, I like leveling up my guns. I like leveling up my character. I like leveling up each little thing in the game. It makes it more fun. It makes things a lot more manageable, right? There's more of a grind to the game. So it, it brings in a lot more content, if you will, artificially, but it feels good. It's not like a bad way. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's Borderlands 1, and I put it in B for three reasons. It's dated for one. For two, it doesn't have enough story. And for three, it lacks endgame. On to Borderlands 2. What many would think is the best game in the entire series, but there's a big but, and this is going to make a lot of people mad. Ho, oh, brother, ho, oh, whoa, 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 now. Nah. It's A tier. In terms of Borderlands games, it's an A tier game. Now, let me reason. Let me reason with you. Don't get mad. I think you'll be satisfied when you see the rest of the tier list. Just, just, just hear me out. This game right here, a lot of people love it because of the time that they played it in, right? A lot of people, when they played it, it was a simpler time. You were younger. You might have had, you know, an Xbox 360. You might have had not a lot of bills. You might have been cruising through life. You know what I'm saying? You might have been, it might have been easy. It might have been good. So you're going to remember this game through rose tinted glasses. And as much as people want to praise this game as it's the best Borderlands game to date, it is, in my opinion, but it's not an S tier game. And here is why. This game has so many problems with it that people just ignore because. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know why they ignore them. They just ignore them because, like I said, rose-tinted glasses. People just take rose-tinted glasses, and then they say, well, this game can't have anything wrong with it. But I'm here to expose that because that right there is absolutely stupid to think. This game has so many problems, bro. Everybody knows it. Me and you know it. There's broken builds, builds that don't work. There's There's certain characters where you literally have to play certain builds just to make that character work. It's just a buggy mess. It, there's a lot of things wrong with the game, but that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it fun. It's broken. Broken things are fun to mess around with. That's what she said. <laughs> So I'm not saying it's bad. It is the best Borderlands game of all the games. And you might be wondering, why did you put it in A tier? You'll see. Moving on. Never played this. This game, I'm pretty sure it was like some type of Asian spinoff of the Borderlands franchise. It was like an online version or MMO version, which sounds cool on paper. But the more and more that I think about it, the more and more I'm like, uh, nah, we don't really need that. Anyways, pre-sequel. <laughs> yeah, boy. B tier. A lot of people will say, why is it B tier? What's the difference between Borderlands 1 and the pre-sequel? And actually, we're going to move it up because the difference between Borderlands 1 and the pre-sequel is very minimal. But the biggest thing is Borderlands to pre-sequel feels better to play. Not as dated, not as buggy. But also, there's not much of a difference, right? Both games lack endgame. Both games have weird things that other games don't have, like the oxygen in the pre-sequel. And then Borderlands 1 has the uh, mastery system with the guns and all that stuff. They both have unique things to them. But they both kind of fall flat. They both don't hit that same mark, right? So in my opinion, they're both in B tier. And that's really the only reason that I put the pre-sequel in B tier. Because for one, it can't go to A tier with Borderlands 2. Okay. Moving on. Tales from the Borderlands. S tier. Now, in terms of a game, of a whole game, the only reason that it is in S tier is because there's nothing wrong with the game. Nothing. It's not buggy. It has a great story. It's funny. The writing is good. It's a complete package. It's really, really well done. And so, in my opinion, it is S tier. I'm not really going off of this in terms of my personal opinion, because if it was my personal opinion, Borderlands 2 would be an S tier, but so would another game, and you guys will hate me for it. It's true. So maybe at the end of the video, I'll go through and rearrange them in order from like my favorite to my least favorite, and then we can go from there. But for now, New Tales, great story, good game, no bugs, pretty fucking good. Let's keep it there. Borderlands 3. Hmm, I don't know where to put this yet. I really don't know where to put this yet. I know where I want to put it, but I don't know where a lot of people would think I'm going to put it. So, A tier. Borderlands 3 is right behind Borderlands 2, in my opinion, in terms of quality. Now, 
the game first dropped and it had a bunch of bugs. The story's not great. That's why it's behind Borderlands 2. But in terms of gameplay, in my opinion, it matches or even exceeds what Borderlands 2 has to offer. A lot of people will be saying, well, the part system in Borderlands 2 is better. The character building is better. And I would 100% agree with the part system being better. But character building in Borderlands 2 is atrocious. It is not as good as Borderlands 3. And a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's just a lie. You're lying. I would have to disagree. Please tell me a scenario where Borderlands 3 has worse character building than Borderlands 2. Because in reality, Borderlands 3's character building is like nothing we've ever seen in a Borderlands game. You have augments. You have crazy weapons. You have characters with three different, or sorry, four different trees if you get the expansion pass, right? Or whatever the heck it's called, Season Pass 2. Now, that is one thing that made Borderlands 3 go down a few notches in terms of, you know, quality. The DLC. A lot of it could have been packaged as one, but I get it. They had to make money. It's a business. And, you know, if you saw my last video, you'll understand what I mean by that. Not going to elaborate more on that, but just know Borderlands 3 a tier right behind Borderlands 2 in my opinion. And if you disagree with me, put it in the comments. Let's have a discussion. All right. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I actually really enjoy Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, but the community, I know they do not like Tiny Tina's Wonderlands at all. They, they despise Wonderlands. And as much as I want to give it a B tier rating behind Borderlands 1, I can't. I got to give it a C. We need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. And the reason that I gave it a C is because loot luck, the, the character building was cool, but you only had two trees. And in every other Borderlands game, you always had three. And so it was just like Wonderlands was a perfectly executed D&D style game, but a horribly executed Borderlands style game. And I get it's supposed to be a spinoff of Borderlands and it's like its own different thing. But so was the pre-sequel, right? The pre-sequel was kind of a spinoff as well. We'll allow the game to, to sit there in C tier and be at that C tier spot solely because it's still on par with the content of the pre-sequel and Borderlands 1, in my opinion. And the gameplay, the fluidity of it, the movement, it's just so nice to have. And a lot of people will say, well, I don't like the sliding, I don't like this and that, I don't like this and that, but nobody can tell me that Borderlands the pre-sequel, Borderlands 1, and Wonderlands are very different in terms of what they have to offer because all of them are virtually the same type of game, they're just different in their own way. Moving on to... Not this game, bro. Not this game. Oh, no. <laughs> New Tales from the Borderlands. Never played it. I've watched the entire game. I didn't want to play it, but I wanted to get caught up on story. So I've never played the game, but I've watched an entire playthrough of the game, so I know what the game is about. You know, New Tales from the Borderlands, I played that. Great game, 100% S tier. I agree with it. If nobody else agrees with it, put it in the comments. But new tales, let's be honest, bro. How, how do I make a new crash tier also? Go below, haven't even played. You know why? Because this game is probably better than what the hell this steaming pile of shit was when it released. Everybody in the entire Borderlands community when this game released collectively agreed. We never want to see something like this again, ever. Like, as bad as the Borderlands 3 story was, this was 10,000 times worse. This game right here made Borderlands 3 look like a gem. Like a diamond. This game was so bad that even Eruption Fang, somebody who is like super, super happy about most things, made, I think it was like an hour-long video on how bad the story was. <laughs> and just how bad the game was. Like, man, I don't know what the writers were thinking with this game, because this game was horrible. That's why it's in trash tier. Just to make the community happy, I'm going to put Borderlands 3 right there in B tier, because look, this, in my opinion, is what the community feels about the Borderlands games. Now, I'm going to rearrange these games in terms of how I feel about them. I'm going to put Borderlands 2 in S tier, and I'm going to put it in front of Tales from the Borderlands. I'm going to put Borderlands 3 in S tier as well, in front of Tales from the Borderlands, because I am a gameplay first and foremost type guy. I don't give two shits about the story. I'm going to move the pre-sequel up. I'm going to keep Borderlands uh, 1 there. I'm going to put Wonderlands right behind Borderlands 1. And I'm going to move this guy, psych. It's going to stay right down there. That is mine. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So we have the community one and we have mine. Tell me which one you agree with. Also... 
I said on Twitter that I have an announcement and I do have an announcement. As you can see, I have this channel rebrand going on. I've changed my banner and I've changed my profile picture. And that is because I want to start branching out into other content, not just Borderlands. Now you may be asking, well, are you still going to do Borderlands? And of course, of course I'm going to do Borderlands. Like I love Borderlands more than pretty much any other game that I've ever played. So I'm going to continue doing Borderlands and I'm going to continue making gaming videos on Borderlands. But I'm going to be making more videos about other games and I'm also going to be making videos that may or may not as a whole catch your interest such as other videos on movies, music, other games that you may not ever have seen me playing on this channel right? That'll be the content that I start to delve into because the more and more that I make these Borderlands videos, I feel like I am restricted creatively and I still want to make the Borderlands videos. I just feel like there's not a lot that I can continue to do without just making the generic playthrough videos that a lot of people do on their own. I can name five, six, seven, eight people that are doing playthroughs right now. By the way, Go sub to Cashew. His playthroughs are better than anybody else's. But anyways, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I really, 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 really hope that the upcoming videos that I have pique your interest and maybe continue to get you coming back to the channel. I just want you guys to enjoy your time here. And I want you guys to be able to find a community here on my channel. But anyways, I'm very excited for the future. I hope you are too. I love y'all. Have a good day. See you in the next video, which is hopefully sooner than next Friday. But we'll see. But anyways. Have a good day. I love y'all. Goodbye.